Yo guys, what is up? This is Scumless from Unilox coming back at you with Discord.py And today, we're going to be making our own custom converters So, you know how before we're having these converters where we get Discord.role or Discord.member Well, today we're going to be making our own because we're going to make a mute command and for that command, we need a time because we want to automatically unmute them after X amount of time, right? So why bother making logic for that when we can make our own custom converter? So just a quick note on converters. They essentially allow you to overwrite discord.ext.command's uh, built-in converter. You chuck an asynchronous convert function in your class, and then you just call that in the function, and that'll just type into it. It'll, it'll go off, it'll do its thing. And that is essentially it. So the method convert must be a protein it must be asynchronous and if an error is found while converting things it is recommended that you raise something that derives from command error because that will then propagate out to the built-in error handlers like our on command error which is sick because you already handle those so without further ado let's get into it so we're gonna need a couple of things here so we're gonna need some regex to figure out who, what, or where our time is. So essentially this bad boy right here, well, the, the simplest way to say it is just, this is just gonna be figuring out how it works. So essentially this is just going, there's gonna be like a maximum of like four to five things. Uh, what can it be? It can be an hour, a second, a minute, or a day. And then I just wanna make this greedy so that we can accept more than one time at once. So that looks about right to me. So uh, now let's just make a little dictionary called time underscore dict. Hmm, convenient enough. And this is essentially just going to be containing how many seconds are in each specific thing. So I'd say there's probably about three six hundred seconds in an hour. In a second, I'd say there's probably about I don't know one second. Uh, how many seconds to a minute, guys? Quick math in your head. Sixty. And then how many seconds in a day? That is 86400. And so that's all we need for that. So let's get started on that time converter class that I was talking about before. So we're going to make a nice little class, call it time converter. And that's going to subclass from commands.converter. Cool, so that's that. So now we just need to make an asynchronous function called convert to override the parent one. That's going to take in a couple parameters self, CTX are required. And then we're going to take in an argument, which is what we're going to be actually converting today. So we're going to make our args, uh, the lowercase, from this. That way it matches our regex. Otherwise, our regex is going to have just a wee little problem trying to find all of the matches in there. So our pattern is going to be the regex, and then we're just going to pass an args. So that's going to go through the arguments we pass in the mute command. Compare them against this regex, and then we're gonna use the regex we get back to check against the time dictionary. And what's the time we're gonna return? Zero, of course. Nah, that's not true. Then we're just gonna go for key value and matches. Can't spell. We're gonna do a try except boy, and we're gonna go time plus equals, and guess what we're gonna do? Time underscore dict and you know what the actual key for this is that we need? It's the actual value. And then we're just going to time to that by the key. So it's a bit around the other way to what you're used to, but this is just how regex returns things based on how we're going to lay it out. And then if we've got a key error, so essentially it doesn't exist, we're just going to raise it commands dot bad argument. And it's going to be, uh, what is it? value is an invalid time key and then what's valid so an hour a minute a second or a day are valid arguments well what if we have a value error when we're trying to convert it and add it well this is raise another one then commands dot another bad argument please except this one this one is very special Key, ready? Ready for this? Key is not a number. 
simple. Now let's just return time. And that's essentially our time converter complete. So let's go put this into practice. Let's go make ourselves a little bit of a mute command. So how do we do that? Just your stock standard act. It's your stock standard. Command, stock, command. The name is going to be mute. What's the description going to be? What do we need to mute someone? We need the uh, user to mute and we want time as being optional. And I kind of don't want just anyone being able to use this. So we are going to not use that. I'm just going to check that you can manage roles because if you can manage roles, you can manually do this. So we're just going to give you the bot to be able to do it for you. Async def mute self ctx member which we're going to type in and then we're going to use our own custom type ending for the time refills boom and we're just going to give that a default value real nice simple boom done there's our command set up except we're not quite done yet we do actually have to put some logic behind it because like oh my god logic what is that uh, so anyway we're going to fetch the role using discord.utils.get and essentially we're going to pass through ctx.guild.roles that's going to iterate over those and it's going to try find a role which is called muted now this is up to you to set up how you want to set it up is up to you whether it's hiding channels or just stopping the ability to talk it's just a role with no permissions and channels so that's up to you to make i won't leave it up to the bot and we're just going to go if the role doesn't exist um, we're just going to send a message saying wait ctx.send no muted role was found Wait, so that's going to handle it. So if there is no muted roll, it doesn't break. And then if we get this far, that means we do have a muted roll. So we're going to just add that roll to the user. So they're now muted. And then we're going to send a message in chat saying, hey, look, this user is now muted. Except I kind of want to make it a ternary. Because, you know, what if there's time and what if there's not time? So we're going to put some more brackets in here. And then we're just going to go muted. Remember? Dot display underscore name. Please. I miss. If time, else. Simple. Let's put some full stops here. We're going to escape this so that we are sanitizing our output just in case we've got one of them special names. We don't want the bot with perms accidentally tagging everyone now, do we? That would be a big shame. So now that's. That's the mute command done, except what about unmuting? So we're going to check if a time has been passed. If a time has been passed, we're just going to sleep now. And so there's a reason our time converter converts everything to seconds, because asyncio takes a time value to sleep, and that's in seconds. And then we need to check if roll. And remember that roll. So we need to check that the user still actually has the rolls before we remove them. We're going to remove that. And then we go, wait, CTX, send. Unmuted. Now you could set this up so it DMs the user that got muted. Pretty simple way to do it. You just change CTX to member. And so, oh, wait, member.send. You have been unmuted. Something along those lines. So, as far as I'm concerned, that's actually our mute command done. So, why don't we jump over to Discord and check it out? Got my little bit of testing code up above. So let's just go ahead, let's just check to make sure this guy doesn't have the role still. He does have the role still. So let's go ahead and make our unmute command while we're at it. That way I can unmute him, show you it's working, and then we can get back to testing the whole thing as a whole. So we're gonna go command stop command. Name equals unmute, please. Description. Unmute a user. Now for this one, we're just going to take a user argument. You don't need anything more than that, really, to be honest. And because I don't have managed roles permissions in this Discord, I'm going to set that up and comment it out. 
you will want it commented, uh, uncommented so that it actually runs. Cool, so that's that done. Let's just quickly chuck on some perms, copy and paste this across because it's the exact same code. Now, again, we're going to take this. We're going to go if role in members. Actually, if role not in member.roles. Let's take this. This is essentially going to say uh, if they don't have the role, they're not actually muted. So this member is not muted. Otherwise, we're going to unmute them. And that is all of our commands for this episode done. So let, let's go ahead, let's go check that our unmute command works. Bam, look at that. And now, he's no longer muted. What if I just want to mute him? Bang, look at that, watch this. Boom, he's got the muted role. That's how you do it. Now he can't talk in this chat. It's kind of sad because it's my alt. And, uh, you know, I'm just on my phone chilling. Like, I'm trying to type and then, ah, uh, I've been muted. <laughs> anyway, let's unmute him. So now we're good to go. He's unmuted. So, let's mute, mute him for, how long? 15 seconds. Muted God of Rush Code for 15 seconds. Now, let's see if I can't chat for 15 seconds, eh? So, essentially this code, the main focus of this episode is not the mute command. We're going to make a better one next episode. Next episode, we're going to have background tasks. We're going to save it to the database. We're going to have persistent storage so that when... A user gets muted, they can't just leave the Discord and join back, and then the mute's gone. It's going to be set up so that when they leave, when they join again, they're still muted. Persistent mutes are great. And now you notice that it said, I've unmuted, got off the rush code, he's unmuted. That's it, that's it, it's that simple. So essentially, that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching, hang around for the next episode, it's going to get way better. This mute command is just going to get like fully transformed, become way better. So essentially what we're just trying to say is, you know, this code works, but it's not the best way to do it. Hang around for next episode where I improve it. And uh, that's all, guys. As always, have fun coding.